put things back nice and slow. Move out of the way, take the picture, and then he goes, boom, jing, boom, bang, zip, 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 and sorts by contrast, not by color. It's not a color camera. None of these are color cameras. Okay. So, looking at contrast, a little window of contrast. But, uh, yeah, when he picks the parts up, he moves about that fast and brings them over. And then he had the issue coming this fast. Now we have the mechanics of the solenoid turning on and off. Well, slow, plenty of time, and then just let it go and drop. Well, he was literally throwing them, throwing them against the wall because he was trying to, okay, the robot went to the point. He said, okay, next come in, open the grip, um, turn off the vacuum. But these are always looking one step ahead. Long story short, he picked the part up, he thought it was there, he threw it, and it was already picking the next part up, which sometimes missed them, so he had to slow it down. Oh, slow the program down, so they had it. Yeah, had, had slow had speed. Mass. Program was fine, yeah, yeah, he slowed down the execution, because he was hitting physical reality. So the uh, solenoid was just not able to fire fast enough yeah, for it to and keep so up with solenoid it. solenoid speed or your mm -hmm. vacuum speed is dependent on pressure also. So he, he learned a few good things just by doing it. Now the question is how far off will this be if we leave it running all weekend and come back <laughs> on Monday? How far off will it be? Uh, I'd assume that it would be exactly correct, where it's sir. supposed to be. Oh, I thought you were going for something like that. How far up? Well, the answer is, unless my encoders, which are actually a transformer, unless they physically get moved, there's no, they can't be off. So your accuracy of even an ancient robot is still as accurate as it was made because it's dependent on the